And I'm trying to get some fresh air in Lisbon. Hello guys, this is Lisbon and I'm here for the new adventures. Lisbon is known for its scenic views, amazing viewpoints, nice and calm weather, classic and manually operated trams that goes uphill and downhill all the day and you can enjoy. The famous Vasco de Gama bridge which connects one part of the country with the other. Peste Binata and many other delicious mouth-watering pastries. And the famous Portuguese green tile. So by that time you must be wondering why you must be wondering what I'm doing in Portugal because I told I'm going to Spain. So there is a story behind it. So let's go. So we start off with the reunion plan. You can see Imran on the left, myself in the middle, Hams on the right. We used to work in uh, Pakistan back in 2008 and that's how we look then. And that's how we look now after 11 years. <laughs> Both of them have two kids each. Imran was not able to join us to Lisbon so he gave us Kasim, which is a very nice guy. He helped us a lot and we have Fakhar who is living in Lisbon for like 15 years or so. So they both guys help us a lot, visiting many places in less time and we enjoy the most part of it. Particularly it's for Fakhar who help us finding the best food in the best place. So thank you Fakhar for your hospitality once again. So if you're starting your tour to Portugal, the first thing you need to do is you get on to a tram. Now, there are basically six trams, these are called Lisbon Tramway Network and they are serving the city since 1873. At present, the six lines called 12, 15, 18, 24, 25 and 28. But the most important one is 28, which passes through all popular tourist destinations like Graça, Alfama, Paxia and Estrela. <laughs> So if you're a visitor and you are in the Lisbon for one day or two days or spending a weekend, get on to number 28. It will take you to the uh, viewpoint which are called uh, Miradores. So we will go to one point called Miradores das Portas de Sol. So, but riding 28, you need to take care of two things. Number one, be aware of the pickpockets. Number two, ride the entire route and there is a lot to see. Or you can skip the tram and walk uphill if you want bigger, larger calf muscles. So we get out from the tram and that's an old tram <clears throat> and we enjoy it a lot. And now we have a scenic view here. So let's go. Hamza is setting up to give his best shot and then we come down the hill to the other place which is the elevator. So you can see the elevator right behind us and we are going to take a ride on it. Experience it. Do you like it? I don't think so you like that much because that's just an elevator. It just goes up and down. Nothing so special about it. Let's see. This elevator was uh, designed by Raul Mencir de Ponsard, which is actually a student of the great iron craftsman Gustav Eiffel. We all know Eiffel Tower. So Ponsard, after working under Eiffel, come back to his own city, Lisbon, and he designed this iron masterpiece. This one actually solves a problem, unlike Eiffel Tower. The lift can carry 29 passengers in each of the two cabins. So there are like two cabins. One is going up, another is coming down simultaneously at the same time. So that connects Baxia district with Largo de Carmo and the ruins of the Carmo church. So you can go on the top and you can see what's left with the church then. If you turn left from the left, you will end up in uh, Praca de Comercio. Uh, let me say that in English, this is basically the commercial square. This is where the wealth of Portugal was channeled. And apart from that, there are many other squares around. Just get lost in Lisbon. You will not lost actually. Every street uh, ends up to the coastline and you will enjoy that. 
Kasim never liked to walk and his face looks like this when you ask him to walk. We let him sleep and we cover some places before he actually gets up. And we also enjoyed some pastries on our way. Now Fakhar has joined us. Then we took off to Almadave. And we are moving uh, towards Almada to see the copy of Jesus Christ, which we have in uh, Brazil. Portugal also have it in Lisbon. And it's a sunny day, sun is shining, the temperature is about uh, 14, 15. And I got accompanied by <clears throat> three fellows. <clears throat> this guy you know already, Hamza from Saudi Arabia. Yalla Habibi. And uh, this guy, the sleeping beauty, is Kasim Munawar. <laughs> who sleeps every night and get up every day to tell us we need to leave. <laughs> then we have the new fellow. He's a camera shy, basically. He doesn't want to come in the camera. I don't know, maybe he don't like the camera or maybe he don't want to be recognized, you know? <laughs> maybe he's wanted by CIA, I don't know that. And it's time for some Punjabi music. Let's go. <laughs> What you can see here is the National Sanctuary of Christ the King inspired uh, by the Christ uh, statue of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Basically that statue says like the Christ is shedding his blessing upon Lisbon. If you look at my back, I can show you this bridge. This is called the 25th April Bridge. Uh, now, why it is called 25th April, I don't know much, but uh, the thing is, it was made on 25th of April, I believe in 1966. So the bridge has two functionalities. On the top, the normal traffic is going on, but below, you can see the train going on. And then you can see a very nice view, panoramic view of uh, uh, Lisbon, like Lisboa. You can see the whole city around. And then if you look a little further, Hamza, can you move around, man? Please move around. I don't want to see your face. <laughs> then you can see that bridge over there. This is called the famous Vasco da Gama bridge, which is about 13 kilometers long. And we're going to go there soon. So we have taken some crazy pictures there, which would be, you know, in my archives and memory. So this is not an attraction. It's just a waterfall, nothing special. But this actually grabs your attention. That's kind of a rooftop without any support that is called the Portugal Pavilion. It's 4,000 tons and measuring 50 by 67 meters. It's an instant attention grabber. I would not advise you to walk under it, you know. Anything can happen anytime, so take care. Then on the right, you have Oceanarium, which is basically one of the world's largest aquarium. You can go and see all type of fishes and stuff. I have seen many aquariums already in Barcelona and other places, so I'm not very interested. And can you see that building, that UFO-like structure? Yeah, that's the one. That is called Altis Arena, or previous it was called Atlantic Pavilion. It looks like somebody turned a ship upside down, you know. Mostly all the international events, expos are hosted here. You can see a lot of flags here. There you go. That green and white. Take my heart all the time. Pakistan. Guys, we are here at another viewpoint and uh, that's uh, called the Parc de Naissance or something like that. <laughs> My pronunciation is quite bad in Portuguese, but yeah, what you can see here, you can find uh, in below, uh, you can find on our back, the uh, Vasco de Gama Bridge. And obviously that is spanning all over the area, a like very long bridge. Um, uh, you know, a replica of Burj Al Arab, which you can find in Dubai. It's not that, but it's inspired with it. And then, you know, that that's more about it. But for a still shot, for a good photo, and for a nice movie, which you can remember, this is the place to be in. I'm enjoying it in a sunny day. Why you guys are holding up? You can see these two giant towers. These are basically apartment buildings, but actually they are named under the two ships of Vasco da Gama, Sao Gabriel and Sao Rafael. It's a pleasant area for families and individuals and couples to visit too. And here I'm trying to hold them up. Mm -hmm, crazy me. 
views are nice but don't get over excited don't dump in man on your way uh, on your way to park the nissan so you can drive by or stop by at the orient city station which is a modern and stunning station it houses a train station a metro and a bus stop that's it for you guys and i'm moving out now from the same vaskaragama bridge on the other side of the country actually we are heading towards our next destination which would be kartapa in spain so if you like this video and want to see more then hit subscribe like the video and write whatever you feel like in the comments feel free go write it down see you soon take care bye bye